In this video, we are going to discuss about one of the dish scheduling algorithm. The purpose of dish scheduling algorithms is to reduce the total seek time. That is, the number of head movements which is made by the disk must be minimal. Various disk scheduling algorithms are available. They are FCFS, SSTF, SCAN, C-SCAN, LOOK and C-LOOK. Now, we will discuss this FCFS algorithm in detail. FCFS stands for First Come First Serve. As the name suggests, this algorithm processes the request in the order they arrive in the disk tube. It is the simplest disk scheduling algorithm. Now, let's see an example to illustrate this concept of FCFS so that it will be easy to understand. Let us assume that there are 200 cylinders in a disk which are numbered from 0 to 199 and the disk head is initially at cylinder number 53 and we are having a set of requests 98, 183, 41, 122, 14, 124, 65 and 67. This means that we want to read the data from these cylinders. We have to find the total number of head movements which is, uh, which is a result of this computation while servicing these requests. So to compute this, first we have to write down the order of head movements. As we know, this is an FCFS algorithm. FCFS stands for first come first serve. Therefore, we are going to process the request in the order they arrive in the disk queue. The initially the head is at 53. Therefore, we are going to uh, start from 53. Then we are going to process 98. And then we are going to process 183 and then 41 and then 122 and then 14 and then 124 and then 65 and then 67. Right? Again I repeat as it is an FCFS algorithm. This processes the request in the order they arrive in the disk queue. Therefore starting from the disk head at 53 we are going to move to the cylinder number 98 and then to 183 and then to 41 like this we goes on up to 67 now we are going to illustrate this order of head movements also diagrammatically like this uh, for here we are going to number from 0 to 199 as we have 200 cylinders numbered from 0 to 199 and the first request that we are going to process is 53 Therefore, we are going to start it from here and then from 53, we are going to move to 98 and from 98, we are going to move to 183 and then 183 to 41 and then to 122 and then 14 and then 124 and then 65 and then 67, right? Then we are going to calculate the total number of head movements incurred while servicing this request. Therefore, we are going to find the distance covered between the subsequent requests. From 53, we move to 98. Therefore, we are going to find the absolute difference between these two to find out the distance. Therefore, absolute difference between 53 and 98 which turns around to be 45. Then, we are going to find the absolute difference between 98 and 183 which turns around to be 142. Like this, the absolute difference between 183 and 41. It is turns around to be 142. And then we are going to find the difference between 41 and 122 which turns around to be 81. Like this, we are going to find out the absolute difference between 122 and 14 and then 14 and 124 and then 124 and 65 and then 65 to 67. Now, we will all sum up all these uh, distances to get the total number of head movements which turns around to be 632. Therefore, this is the answer of total number of head movements 
which is uh, the result which is being obtained by applying this FCFS algorithm, right? Now, we will discuss uh, about the advantages and disadvantages of this algorithm. As we saw, it is a simple algorithm, therefore it is easy to understand and implement and it does not cause starvation of any request that is we will process the request in the order they arrive in the disk queue therefore no requests are made to wait indefinitely there are some disadvantages of this algorithm too it results in increased total seek time and as it results in increased total seek time it is inefficient thank you